Now a story of true grit on the softball field. A talented young athlete's greatest challenge turns out to be an opponent that doesn't wield a bat, but attempts to beat her down by creating a war within her. A war she and her family are waging with courage. I was getting ready for school and I felt a little bit of like a numbness on the one side of my face and I just kind of felt like I maybe was out of it or not really fully there for five or six seconds. Sydney Lewis knew something wasn't quite right, but she shrugged it off. Same kind of symptoms, had it again Wednesday night right before our game. Still, they won. The game of life moving so fast for this successful Clay High softball player. First thing in my mind is she's tired. You know, everything in the world that's going on. All right, outfielders with Coach Rice. Infielders here with us. Let's go. Her dad, her coach, Clay softball coach Matt Lewis. And she's, you know, vice president of her senior class. She's an AP in dual enrollment classes. She's playing varsity softball. She just got accepted to Florida. She's doing scholarships. You know, she's trying to get all this stuff done, burning the candle at both ends. But it was so much more than that. We were in the batting cage, and she was taking some cuts, and I just realized her stop on her swing and she just stood there for a second and she looked down at the ground and I'm, I said her name and she didn't respond to me. And I was like, oh, it's no big deal. I'm just, I'm tired. We've been having a lot of late nights, late games, haven't been eating my normal meals all the time. She's making jokes of it. Like, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just drooling. I'm a little dog. And I'm like, no, this, this isn't something like we need to really talk to your dad about it. God put her in that situation right there. Sydney's dad says her assistant coach acted on a hunch, and he is so grateful. But it was the start of a difficult journey. It, it got scarier and scarier as we went along. A 20-minute MRI turned into a 90-minute MRI. Matt Lewis says the neurologist kept seeing something he didn't like. And they kept on finding more and more. And then you're sitting there, and the doctor tells you it's, it's MS. And your whole world stops. The diagnosis tumefactive multiple sclerosis, one of the rarest forms of the disease. My heart broke. Those words are intimidating. They're scary. Um, you know, I know that modern medicine has come a long way over recent years, but my heart, like, broke in half. I couldn't stop crying. It's just, you know, uh, anybody who has kids, you know, that's the thing. You see your kid hurting, you want to fix. Take, take, take this all away from them. Put it on you. You know, take a baseball bat to my knees. I don't care. Just don't do it to my kid. But Sydney's already found a silver lining. Catching this rare form of MS at such an early stage and starting her treatment means she can play on. And doctors say she can get back in the game now. When I'm sitting in the hospital bed for the three nights just watching the games go on Game Changer, I'm screaming the entire time, pushing them. I want to be on FaceTime with somebody. I just, I hate not being in here in the atmosphere and I'm so ready to get back to it. <laughs> the whole time, Sydney's the positive one. Dad, we'll be fine. We'll get through this thing. And they are such courage. I mean, think about it. She's 17, and she's diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, a, a rare form of it, in the middle of softball season, a whirlwind change of life. But as you can see, she's back to practice, playing, planning to continue playing through her high school career. Way to go, girl. She's amazing. So many coaches are angels. That assistant coach who was persistent Truly. in spotting the diagnosis. And again, Sydney's attitude, just so remarkable. Tune in tomorrow to the morning show because Sydney and her father will be here with us at Channel 4 to talk specifically about the early signs and symptoms leading up to her MS diagnosis and what other parents and children can learn from Sydney's personal experience of learning about the disease and moving forward with treatment. That's tomorrow morning at 745.